In 1928, a Scottish scientist went into his lab to discover a fungus had killed bacteria in his growth place. He'd accidentally discovered penicillin, and so antibiotics were born. That scientist was Alexander Fleming. In the 1940s, when he got a Nobel Prize, he warned us if we misuse these drugs, the consequences are disastrous. If you look at the world wars, the difference that antibiotics have made to human medicine, it is said that it adds tw has added 20 years to our life expectancy by the use of antibiotics. Think about that if they stop working. Where does that 20 years go? Antibiotics on our farms make a huge difference. We don't need them all the time, but when we do need them, they're critical. Critical to save animals' lives. They're critical to our lives, to my family's lives, to your family's lives. That's why we've designed guidelines around their correct use, and that's why they're so important. And that's why we have the six R's around antibiotic usage. Essentially, tackling AMO or antibiotic resistance is about doing the right thing, doing the responsible thing. And farmers and vets and other industry stakeholders have come together to develop these six R's, these principles about how to use antibiotics responsibly and in the right way. So the first R is right veterinary diagnosis. In order to diagnose a bacterial disease, we need veterinary expertise. And it, the vet is the person that is best trained to, to determine whether you have a bacterial disease that needs an antibiotic. And only bacterial diseases need antibiotics. So the second door is right animal. It is crucially important that you treat the animal that has a bacterial disease, the animal that has been diagnosed as your, by your vet as being sick and needing an antibiotic. So the third R is right veterinary medicine. When you go to your GP now with the flu, you are no longer routinely being given antibiotics. And this is because antibiotics do not treat viral diseases. It is the same for our animals. They only need an antibiotic when they have a bacterial disease and they should only be used when you are sure that that is what they need. So the fourth R is right dose. It is critically important when you are using an antibiotic that you give the correct dose for the animal at the time. This means that you have as accurate as possible an estimate of the weight of the animal that you are treating and that you follow your prescription. If you underdose or overdose, you are effectively wasting your money and potentially driving the development of resistance on your farm. Overdosing with an antibiotic is wasteful because the antibiotic is, is trialled to work at the dose at which it is prescribed. So by giving extra, it is not any bit more effective. If you underdose, and this is far more serious in terms of antibiotic resistance, you are not effectively killing the bacteria. And some of those bacteria will stay around with the potential to develop resistance and spread disease to other animals. So it is vitally important when you are treating your animals that you give the correct and right dose. So the fifth R of responsible use is right duration. It is so important to take antibiotics or to give antibiotics for the right duration of time as prescribed by your vet. We have all been guilty possibly in the past of stopping the course of antibiotics because we felt better. The same way when we are treating our animals, we may look at them and think they are fully better. But this is the wrong thing to do because antibiotics have been developed so that they work over a specified number of days and they must be given for the right course of treatment in order to be effective against the disease we are treating. So always remember, finish the course of antibiotics. So the sixth and the final R in the responsible use of antibiotics is around the disposal of antibiotics and right disposal. Because antibiotics, if they leach into our environment, if they are not disposed of in a correct manner, have the potential to really drive the development and spread of resistant bacteria. Antibiotics freely available in our water courses or in our soil will, will potentiate the development of resistance in the bacteria in our environment. And this is the environment that we all share, that we share with our animals and we share with our community. So farmers have a key role in how they dispose of the antibiotics that they are using on their farms. And correct disposal is the key to preventing further spread and development of antibiotic resistance. We've learned about how important antibiotics are for us, for our farm animals and for our futures. We've learned about responsible use in this video. We've learned about the six R's from Caroline. Caroline, what's your key message for people to take away? Well, for me, Tommy, the message is simple. AMR and addressing antibiotic resistance is about doing the right thing and using antibiotics wisely. It's in all our interests. Join us for our next video where we look at critically important antibiotics.